Hi, let's talk now about D3 and set, getting set up with it. So this is the main page for D3, it's d3js.org as you can see in here. And then um, usually when you come in here, it gives you the idea on how you can start using D3 immediately. So this is D3 version 6 that was released like a week ago from the time of this recording in it's September uh, 2020. Um, and if you want to use it in your code in the browser, directly in the browser, this is the only thing that, that you need to do. So when you're actually writing that like on, on um, an HTML page, it will look something like this. So let's say this is HTML format and then you create an HTML page and then you start adding your script uh, for uh, that. So that will be uh, this and then come in here, something like this. And then after that, you will create your script and then you can start doing all, the, all of your D3 code. So that is the key in here, like loading that afterwards. Some people will put it in here, inside the head, but if you do it that way, then the page will not render until the script has finished downloading. And usually you don't want that. So I recommend you using it like this. So this is the first thing doing that. Uh, now, since we are going to be working on observable, let's see how that will look in there. So uh, this is setting up the tree. So in here, it's actually extremely easy. You can just, as we did in previous examples, without too much uh, preamble, uh, you just say, I want to import D3, not D2. And then you say what version you want to import. So just by doing that, then you get your library in there. And then you can start creating the basics of your charts, uh, just calling like the different methods. Like for instance, I can do a D3 selection in here and then start working on that. Usually the other thing, and it's that remember that we were creating SVGs before. So you can also go and start creating your SVG. Uh, and then remember that one way of doing that, it's doing something like this. SVG and then uh, I have seen Mike creating his latest examples using the view box so it will be something like this and then you say that what is your height and then the key in here is to actually be returning your SVG and then height is not defined so we can define that as width multiplied by 0.6 or something like that that is actually a value. And then uh, you start defining like whatever you wanna do on that. So for instance, if you wanna select that SVG to start creating elements, so you just do it like this. So you say, this is my selection of the SVG. So while this first element in here contains the element, the SVG element, the HB, uh, HTML element, this one will contain the, the selection, okay? So we're going to learn a little bit more about that later. Now, the other thing that it's important is that you can either use the full uh, set of, of tools from D3, like the whole thing like this, this is the simplest way, but it's going to be uploading a lot of code. So if you wanna actually use just a part of that, so I think, is this the page for D3 in GitHub? Yes, GitHub slash uh, D3, then you can see all of the modules in here. So if you want to use just D3 selection, for instance, there is a module for that. And then you can come in here, see what is the specific version, and then just say, you know what, I'm only going to be using D3 selection. And that is going to lower significantly the payload of your pages. So that is important in there. So that is the basics of setting up D3 for observable and outside observable. Uh, as a reminder, uh, review, just a quick thing is that you, you import what version you want. We are going to be using version 6. And then, uh, like, basically, you say, this is what I'm going to be drawing. And then all of your D3 code goes here. D3 code goes here, most of it at least. And then you return the SVG, so you actually can do the drawing, okay? So just to give you an example, I can take this selection, SVG, and then inside that, let's say that I wanna create a circle or append a circle rather, I can append a circle. And that's actually another way of, of, of doing this. Right, let's actually 
do it that way. So I can create an alternative in here. And then, like you will also see that the latest versions, I think from starting version five, there is a D3 create. And then basically what it does is that it creates an HTML element and then it appends it. And then you can just take your selection in here, SVG, and you can return the node that is being selected. And that's pretty much the same thing. And then if you want to change attributes in here, and we're going to learn more about that using uh, when we learn about selections, but you can just pass. And that's the, if you saw me failing in the other video, um, this is what I was trying to do. So basically what I'm doing there is just assigning the value of these things to the view box. And then that's how I'm rendering that. The key here is that we are taking the selection and getting the element out of that. In here, I'm doing here, it's my element. And then this is the selection and I'm just returning the element and selecting the element like here. And then here goes your code. So in here now I can do what I was aiming to do. And then I can say I'm going to append like for instance a circle. And then we can start changing the attributes. Remember that the circle has a CX and CY. Like for instance, if I only go and set up this one, then I can have an item set. Uh, let's say that I also, I wonder if I need to uh, draw all of that. Um, let's say that this is going to have a fill of still blue. Is that it? Still not saying it. Let's see if I can inspect and see that it's actually rendering that. So I do have one circled here, another one, I'm still not saying it. Uh, oh, yes. So it's it's funny. No, notice how actually the circle got outside the SVG. So we did something wrong in there. So let me see what did I do wrong. So I'm selecting this SVG. I'm creating a selection on this. Um, selection SVG. And I'm appending the circle. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, why? It's putting it outside. <coughs> because if I were just doing this, then it will be creating it outside. But since I'm actually doing it inside this selection SVG, which by the way, it's a terrible variable name, then it should be putting it inside. So let me inspect again and look at this in a more detailed way. So it's definitely not showing that here. And I'm seeing those circles out here. Um, what can be my mistake? Um, true, 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 true. Oh, sorry. This should be D3 select. My bad. So D3 selection, it's like the whole module. And now I can see the, the element. And then, yeah, the same go, will go here. Okay? So those are the basics for setting up D3. And then we are going to learn more about uh, select later. Um, just keep in mind those. And if you're working outside, then your code will be looking more like this. And then basically you will define your SVG first. And then like something like this, SVG. And here ends my SVG. And then it's not D3 selection, D3 select. And then you can say, I'm actually going to be selecting this with, for instance, an ID. So we can call this target, and then I'm actually going to be selecting it like that. So um, in here, you're, you're going to be using CSS selectors to access things. In Observable, usually what you're going to be doing is either you doing a D3 create, or you're going to be creating an element like this and then selecting that directly, okay?